He is the last surviving witness, perhaps, to this piece of history in Gastonia. A white baseball player who made history by standing up for his black friend is now 102 years old. Their story represents an important moment 86 years ago in the segregated South. Our Gaston County Bureau reporter Ken Lemon explains how a game among teenagers became so much more. Tony King of Springfield, Massachusetts doesn't say much some days, but behind those eyes is a mind that won't forget the game in Gastonia that never happened because of a lingering hate that spoiled the sport. Well, it was outstanding. And I, um, they wasn't allowed to play. This is his American Legion team from 1934. They were headed south for the World Series Regionals in Gastonia with one of their best players, Ernest Ferrantello. They called him Bunny because he seemed to hop around the field. He was a black baseball player with white teammates, which wasn't odd in his state, but was all but outlawed in the Jim Crow South. How unfair it was. The Catholic color athlete wasn't allowed to play. In recent years, Tony King talked to retired coach Elmore Hill, a Gastonia native, about the abuse Bunny suffered. Doing all these racial slurs and throwing stuff on the field at him and everything. And the way, way Tony talked, he said Bunny didn't even pay any attention. If he don't play, we don't play. Hill who became a wildly successful minor league player and major league coach, knows firsthand the kind of abuse Bunny endured. In 1964, he became the first black American Legion player in the state, and at 16, faced all the hate. Memories that moved him to tears at one point. Sometimes I heard the N-word so much, I thought one time my dad had changed my name. You know, that's just how bad it was. Despite his many years in the game, he didn't know about the 1934 game forfeited because of race. There was silence about that game in Gastonia for 80 years. It was a secret to almost everyone until someone walked into the mayor's office with a copy of a book, a home run for Bunny, about a victory on the field without a pitch or a hit. Flabbergasted. I said, this, this, this can't, this couldn't have happened. John Bridgman was the mayor when it all came out. He was born 10 years after that game and played youth baseball, but never heard about the 1934 game that never happened. So he wrote a letter to the mayor of Springfield expressing deepest regret and inviting the current team back to Gastonia to play. How big is that letter in your time serving as mayor? Number one. They had the game at Sims Park in Gastonia. Elmore Hill traveled to Springfield to attend another reconciliation game there. Tony King threw out a pitch and made a big impression. Gastonia's current mayor is leading the effort to revitalize the city around a new baseball stadium. I can't do anything about what happened in the past, but I can make sure that it doesn't happen again. Wow, well, over 100 years old. Can you imagine the amount of change he has seen in his lifetime? Yeah. A lot of change. Yeah, and with this, there's a proclamation about that game that is now in the American Legion display case there in Gastonia. So. Now no one will forget.